Hello, let's set up in a few steps one of the most powerful AI plugins for Obsidian. This plugin is called Copilot, and in this video, we will use it with your own locally installed LLM to benefit from privacy and full ownership of your data. I will focus only on the preliminary steps and use only the free version of this plugin to help you get started quickly. To follow this tutorial, you only need Obsidian and LM Studio installed. So let's begin. The first thing to do is open Obsidian, then navigate to Settings, Community Plugins. Here, click on Turn on Community Plugins, then Browse. Search for Copilot and select it. Then click on Install, and after that, click on Enable. Now you will see that the Copilot plugin is installed and ready to use. However, more setup will be needed. Now let's install LM Studio. Navigate to this address and download and install the software. This tool needs a powerful computer, since the models require a lot of resources. I recommend an Apple Mac with an M series chip. After installing LM Studio, open it and download the LLM to be used with Copilot. Let's look for Llama. Go to Discover here on the left and type Llama in the search field. You can filter by the ones with most downloads. Let's look for, say, the Meta Llama. 3.1. On the right, you will see all the download options available. You can also check the documentation about each version. Choose the one you like, but in general, go for the good quality or higher quality ones, as they usually allow you to provide a context of more than 4,000 tokens. Depending on your notes, you might require a model that accepts a larger context. In this case, I went with the 8 GB version. Select it from the list and click on the download button. Alright, once you have it installed, let's tweak it. We need to make sure this model can accept enough context for the notes you might have. So let's find this model in LM Studio. Go to My Models, here on the left. You will see the model already installed. Go to its settings and increase the tokens to, let's say, 10,000. Then go to Developer, and at the top, select this downloaded model, and wait for it to load. Also enable the server by clicking here. Great, now we have our chat model ready to be used by Copilot. So navigate back to Obsidian, then Settings, Copilot, Basic. If you look in the default chat model list, you won't yet see the LLM downloaded with LM Studio. What we need to do is go to the Model tab, then where the chat models are, click on Add Model. For the provider, select LM Studio. For the model name, go back to LM Studio, copy the ID of this LLM, 
and paste it back in Copilot settings here. Give it a name. Everything else can be left blank, as Copilot will know to use the default endpoint, which, if we look in LM Studio, is this one here. Then go back, then click on Verify to make sure everything is optimal. You should see a verification successful message. Then click on Add Model. Now go back to Basic and from the default chat model, select the newly created option from the list. With this, we have AI chat capabilities right in Obsidian. If you want to save all your chats as separate notes, scroll down to Auto Save Chat and enable it. Now click on Open Copilot Chat to see the relevant chat window. If you go to your notes and select one, you will notice it is automatically added as context for that specific chat instance. However, we need to make one more step. At the top, you will see this icon. This shows that indexing of this node hasn't taken place. And if we click Re-index current node, we will get an error. If we enable the Obsidian Developer Tools, select Cancel, and refresh the indexing, we will see an error. API key is not provided for the embedding model. The problem is that we don't even have an embedding model yet. Such a model is required for the indexing capabilities of the Copilot plugin. Copilot makes use of it to parse and index your vault. So this is an important step. Let's go ahead and look for such a model in LM Studio. A good model to use, though you can search for others if you prefer, is BGE-M3. It's a solid all-around model with great retrieval quality and it's multilingual. So in the Discover section, search for BGE-M3. Sort by most downloads. Select this one from the list. Click on Download. And now that you have it, head back to the server and use it there. At the top, select this model and you'll see when it is ready. Now go back to Obsidian, Settings, Copilot, Model, and scroll down to Embedding Models. Click on Add Model. In the provider, select LM Studio. In the model name, copy the ID from LM Studio and paste it here. Give it a name. Leave everything else blank and click on Verify. Once you see that everything is OK, click on Add Model. Then navigate to the QA tab and under Embedding Model, select your newly created model. 
Also, activate the semantic search option. Once the indexing is complete, let's go back to our vault and communicate with the AI. First, click on the refresh icon here. Once you do this, you will also get suggestions with notes that are most relevant to your currently opened note. Let's start asking questions such as Who is the author of this note? It will say that I am the author of this note since there is no mention of any specific name. Selecting a new note that contains an author will provide the author's name. Now let's ask for a summary and a translation. Summarize this note in one sentence. Next, translate this summary into Spanish. Now let's ask for one more suggestion. Can you give me one more bullet point that I can add to my note? If I want to add this to my note, it's enough to place the cursor where I want to insert the text. And then click on this icon here, Insert Replace a Cursor. And this is in a nutshell how you can use this plugin with Obsidian. It's quite a versatile plugin, easy to use, with plenty of options you can explore further. When installing the plugin, a copilot folder is created. Inside it, you can find custom prompts that you can use further. If you like this plugin, you can also check out the paid version, although this video is not sponsored by it at all but it has some interesting features you might find useful. The paid features are mentioned on its website. You'll get PDF and image support, web search, built-in chat and LLM models, so no need to provide any API key, inline editing, and more. I hope this tutorial helped you get started with this great plugin while also preserving privacy of all your notes. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe.